What is he doing over there? Even serial killers have to live next door to somebody. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well out there. And today the movie I'm going to review is Summer of 84. This movie came out in 2018. It's an hour and 45 minutes long. And basically if I had to describe this film to somebody, off the top of my head I would say it's Stranger Things meets Stand By Me. Just, when I, just minus the sci-fi stuff from Stranger Things. Basically it's about four teenage boys who are spending their summer enjoying playing outside and running around playing a game called Manhunt, which I played something similar when I was their age where they're running around the neighborhood hiding and they have to find each other. And there's a serial killer on the loose in around the area and kids are disappearing their same age. Now he hasn't hit their town yet, but the surrounding towns around their town, is which Oregon is the town they live in, and they they know what's going on and Davey, our main character, played by Graham Fashir, who's really good in the film, and the other kids, I'll get, a, get the cast out of the way, Judah Lewis, who I just described, I just went into the other day on The Babysitter, he plays Tommy, one of the friends. Caleb Emery plays Dale, and uh, Carrie Andrew plays Curtis. He's, they're, they make up the four boys that are best friends and hang out together all the time. And when they're playing Manhunt one night, or Davey actually delivers papers, and his next door neighbor, his name is Mackie, and he is a police officer, and he goes to collect money, and he goes into the house, with, and, he, and Mackie asks him to help him move a dresser down into the basement or some kind of furniture, and he does, and he sees something strange that catches his eye, and this kid has a, a vivid imagination, and he starts thinking that Mackie might be the serial killer, which everybody thinks is crazy, because he's a police officer, he's a really nice guy, and, the, and he does come off as a very nice guy and a good neighbor. But the guy, the, his friends go along with him because it's something exciting to do. So they start spying on Mackie. And as the movie goes along, they're trying to get more and more dirt and they're doing research on the, on the disappearances and they follow Mackie at night to see where he goes because he goes out jogging every night at 11 o'clock. They follow him to see what's going on. He's buying a lot of dirt, pickaxes, all this kind of stuff and they're wondering what, what the hell's going on. And Davy's parents find out and they're pissed. So they make the march all the boys over to apologize to Mackie. And honestly, Mackie, the guy who plays Mackie, Rich Summers, who I've never heard of before, but he he is great in this film as this police officer and this seemingly nice neighbor. Um, and as the movie goes forward, I'm not going to spoil it because if you haven't seen it. I don't want to spoil it because yeah, there's a there's a twist and then there's a, kind of another twist at the end. So I don't want to spoil the film. Um, but that's pretty much summer of 84. This movie definitely, just like um, Stranger Things, just without the budget, is very nostalgic with the 80s, obviously. Set in 84, the score is a synth score, very reminiscent of John Carpenter's scores. I actually do really do like the score. And there's a song in the movie from the 80s, um, Bananarama's Cruel Summer. And also, there's a nod to the thing in here. The kids take a bottle of whiskey out of their, out their parents' liquor cabinet, and it's called McCready Whiskey and not to John Carpenter's a thing or Kurt Russell's character in a thing. Um, this movie, the clothing, they do nail all that. And I gotta say, this movie is really well done. I love this film. Um, the kids are great. And that's always an iffy thing when you have young actors, if they're all gonna click and they all click. I thought that they were best friends in this film. I like the mystery, I like the kids. It reminded me of my childhood minus the, the mayhem that goes on <laughs> eventually. But if you've never seen it, check it out. It was on Netflix for a while. I just checked. I didn't see it on there. I know there's a Blu-ray available on Amazon. It might be streaming on Amazon Prime or another service. But I highly recommend it. I would give Summer of 84 a 9 out of 10 if you've never seen it. Check it out. The acting's pretty. The acting's really good. It's directed really nicely. And I love the score. And I just love this movie. 9 out of 10 for me for Summer of 84. Have you seen this film? If you have, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this movie. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share this video. I greatly appreciate any one of those three. These all take care of yourselves out there, and I'll be back soon with another review. Thanks. Bye.